Here it is everyone, the drink recipe bonus as promised. We're gonna be making a variation of the popular New Orleans drink or New Orleans drink called Sazerac. So normally it's made with, well, originally it was rye, but then some people used cognac. So we're gonna be making the cognac version. And also absinthe is in included in this drink as well. It became popularized in New Orleans in the 19th century. And the absinthe in the drink is actually just used to coat the glass to give it more of an aromatic flavor. When I went to my local LCBO, I asked the lady where's the absinthe because I couldn't find it. So she directed me to a drink called Unicum. I never heard of it, never saw it before, never noticed it before. And I'm like confused standing there. I'm like, I asked for absinthe and she seemed quite confident, so I think that she was just trying to give me the alternative because evidently they, they didn't have absinthe in the store. And rather than searching around all over the place for to find absinthe, I decided I'll just try out this unicum and see what it's like. Maybe it's a good substitute, maybe she knows something about this. Uh, later on I like looked it up and although both drinks are aromatic, I would say that maybe she's a Hungarian lady who wants to promote Unicum more so. <laughs> Maybe she's a proud Hungarian lady who wants to promote Unicum more so. That's my thought. Anyway, anyway, since the absinthe is just used to coat the glass for the aroma, I thought, well, this probably will work. It could be argued that Unicum is more aromatic because there's like, there's 40 different herbs all mixed together in the Unicum and it's known as a di digestive digestive <laughs> is known as a digestive the after, after the meal drink to help with digestion and some people use this uh, for medicine back in the old days maybe some people use it nowadays too for medicine <laughs> Here we have our chilled glass, and we're gonna pour it in our unicum and coat the glass. Pour it out in another cup. Fill up our glass with ice. And we'll put two ounces of cognac in our cocktail shaker. We'll add a half ounce of simple syrup, which is a sugar water mixture. I've used the raw sugar. We'll add about three dashes of Peychaud's bitters. We'll fill up our cocktail shaker with ice, and let's get shaking. And we just want to create a seal here with our glass, and we're going to shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Then, We'll take our Hawthorne, Hawthorne, and we'll pour in our drink. So it's to garnish with a lemon wedge, uh, I mean a lemon peel, lemon twist, but um, I think that the orange will go well with this. So, and since we used orange, I'm just gonna opt for that. So here we go. That's our beautiful drink. I'm sure you can make a non-alcoholic version of this too. Mm. Refreshing. <laughs> nice and aromatic too, nice herbs. Cheers, l'chaim, yassim.